welcome back to Halloween. I hope you're enjoying this month of October. There have been lots of videos up already. I thought we would take a break from the scary, really spooky stuff and do a bit more of an updated skincare routine for you or more sort of skincare favourites. I have switched out some of the products that I'm using. A lot of them are still the same. My skincare doesn't really tend to kind of switch up that much, but I do kind of swap in and out some treatments. And I've got a few new products from The Ordinary that I've really been enjoying. I have got nothing other than moisturiser on my skin today. I have not got eyebrows on. I've just kind of left everything bare. The only thing that I do have on is some mascara. Um, I just thought that as we were talking about skincare, it would be nicer for you to see what my skin actually looks like. I don't have a ring light on. I haven't messed around with the colours or anything on this camera. Um, I'm sat in front of a window. I've got my sort of overhead like bedroom light on as well and that's it. So I just wanted to show you kind of a close up of my skin. I finished my period, I want to say like about a week ago. Um, so I have a couple of sort of red patches sort of left over from that um i never tend to get really awful breakouts as you guys know my skin is pretty good i'm very lucky um i sort of had very mild acne as like a younger teenager for which i was um i had like uh, antibiotics for um and some topical lotions and that kind of cleared it right up and i grew out of it to be honest very quickly i haven't ever really suffered with adult acne um, occasionally I've had sort of a few reactions to things on my skin or I tend to break out if I am flying a lot or I'm due on my period. So that's kind of it. I'm very lucky that my skin is fairly normal, it gets a little bit dry towards the autumn winter months, hence I've swapped a few products out for my skincare regime. Um, and it tends to be like a little bit oily in the T-zone and is slightly oilier all over during the summertime. The first thing I'm going to show you is a favourite. This is actually a gift for someone. <laughs> um, but my one is disgustingly wet in the shower because I use it every day. Um, this is the Lizelle Naturally Active Cleanse and Polish. I've been using this for years. This is not sponsored. I'm obsessed with it. It would be nice if they did sponsor me. That would be great. Um, I'm obsessed with Lizelle. It's all responsibly sourced. It's a British brand. Um, the, the ingredients are really good. It's cruelty free. It's just a really lovely, gentle skincare. It's really good to do a double cleanse with. It comes with a hot cloth, um, so you kind of massage it into the skin to take off your makeup, and then use the um, muslin cloth or um, a flannel or something if you prefer um, to remove your makeup, and then you would do like a second cleanse to properly cleanse your skin. Obviously, if you've got nothing on your face, you can just cleanse the one time. But I do really like it with my Vanity Planet um, Skin Spa brush, which I've been using instead of my Clarisonic Mia. Um, I feel like that's more sort of value for money. It's got three different heads and also it's really good. Um, so it works with skin brushes, but also it just works as a nice makeup remover and it really works to cleanse the skin gently. It does leave my skin feeling dry or anything like that. And it is sort of cruelty free and environmentally friendly and we like all of that stuff. So another thing to note is that she does a lot of really lovely masks and um, there's like an instant facial mask, which I think is the like it, you leave it on for two minutes. It really does kind of brighten and plump the skin. It's really, really lovely. Um, she does a really lovely clay mask. And also if you do order more than sort of a couple of bits off the website, not only do they come beautifully packaged and it's all sort of recyclable and stuff, but it's also really nice that they often send you um, travel size samples when you purchase a few bits. Like I still have some left over from when I last made a purchase. So although Lizelle is stocked in places like John Lewis and like mainly sort of department stores, Debenham and stuff like that. Um, if you do order from the website and you're ordering more than sort of like one or two things and they do tend to send you a few little sample size, which are perfect for traveling. And I think it's just a really nice touch. Moving on to more sort of treatment-y things. I am obsessed with the Nip and Fab Exfoliate Glycolic Scrub Fix. I've actually got my dad into this as well. He's used about two tubes of it. Um, we both really like this. It's quite gritty. It is kind of um, sandy on the skin, but it also does contain glycolic acid, which is really good for exfoliating the skin. Um, I always say... I do use manual exfoliators as you can see from this but this is not the kind of thing you really need to scrub your skin with. If you have acne prone skin or you've got broken capillaries or sort of older skin then I'd be a little bit wary of, you, of going too hard on the skin. Chemical exfoliants only are probably a little bit better for you. Um, however if you are gentle and you are using 
a scrub then these are really nice um i really love the nip and fab products i find a lot of their kind of acids and ahas and stuff especially are some of my favorite products from them so I've really been enjoying this this is probably like my third or fourth tube of this don't know if i've mentioned it on my channel before though because i haven't done a skincare for a while going along the same lines as that i have really been loving the ordinary lately um if you would like me to do a kind of fully explanatory chemical explanation of all of the different products that you can get on the website to save you from going on the website yourself and researching it yourself um, or maybe like some of the most popular products on there because I know that this stuff is kind of really basic one or two ingredient skincare that's really effective but at an affordable price obviously these are not going to be like really high-tech formulas like you get in sort of some of the more um expensive lines of skincare that these guys do but these are really good basic products that i've definitely seen a real difference with in my skin um this is the lactic acid 10 percent plus ha so this is a high strength lactic acid um superficial peeling formulation so obviously with you with you're doing any kind of chemical peeling exfoliation anything with acids or fruit enzymes and things like that that are going to kind of affect um, the top layer of your skin and you need to be really careful with your sunscreen and stuff afterwards because sunlight um, can sort of bring on more skin damage if you have been using chemicals like this. I use this at night time, I use it maybe once a week, twice a week, it just depends how my skin's looking. I kind of do a mixture of the two. I probably use the scrub more than I use the lactic acid but as you can see I've had this a decent while um, the packaging is really nice, it's sort of glass bottles. I quite like all this kind of quirky chemistry set looking packaging. And as you can see, it's a nice um, pipette dropper. So you don't really waste any product. And this pipette is like a good quality one. It doesn't sort of get stuck or not come out and stuff. So um, most of their stuff is really simply packaged like this. Glass, not ideal for traveling, but it does feel really nice and it's just simple and easy to read. If you know the ingredients you're looking for, um, then The Ordinary is probably one to check out for you if you've got some basic skincare needs. Uh, second product from The Ordinary, I have this 100% organic cold pressed rose hip seed oil. This is something that I would use in the evening if I'm feeling a little bit more dry. If I'm not using that, then my typical favourite uh, for the morning are my Tea Tree Body Shop Mattifying Lotion. And I also still use my um, Kiehl's Ultra Facial Moisturiser. This is for all skin types. It's not really scented. It comes in a squeezy bottle. Um, it lasts for ages. I really enjoy it. It sits nicely under makeup. Both of these do. If I'm a little bit more oily, then I'll use the mattifying one, especially if I've got like a couple of breakouts or anything, then I tend to use this. And if I am um, just feeling like a little bit drier, Although this is kind of basic and not too heavy for under makeup, it is a little bit more moisturising than the Body Shop one, so I will use this under makeup if I'm feeling a little bit more dry or the weather's a bit sort of windy and cold. Um, but as I said, uh, the ordinary cold press rosehip seed oil is really nice for the evenings or if I'm feeling really, really dry and I've been um, sort of out and about during the day, it's really nice to kind of give my skin a really good scrub and then press this in uh, and then press this into the skin for uh, bedtime. As for more treatmenty things, the Ordinary's, niacin, the Ordinary's Niacinamide 10% plus zinc 1%. Um, this is a high strength vitamin mineral blemish formula. I use this in patches when I get spots. So if I had like a couple on my forehead or anything, I mainly get them on my chin to be honest. And that is tends to be, this area tends to be sort of hormone related. So as I said before, if I've been flying a lot um, and I've got that kind of like tired, like overworked skin from being in the studio and working, or if I've got kind of hormonal breakouts because I'm coming onto my period or whatever, um, this I found is really good. I am still also using my um, Effaclar Duo which you guys know I have used for years and years. I still highly recommend it. It's in every single skincare video. I don't have a tube stream now because I've run out of it. That's how much I love it. Um, but this is really good as well. I highly recommend if you struggle with acne prone skin that you maybe give this a go. Um, this can also sit under your regular moisturizer, which is ideal. Uh, moving on to um, other treatmenty type things, more like masks and stuff. I'm just gonna show you a few. If you want a full 
um, kind of favourite masks for autumn, winter, sort of more hydrating ones, maybe some really good exfoliating ones, then do let me know in the comments below. Um, these are the Patchology Flash Patch. So these are gel patches for the eye area. I just find that, I don't find that they maybe help with dark circles and stuff so much because I feel like that's kind of a mixture of how much sleep you're getting and drinking water is really, really important. That's one of the number one things that I do for my skin. It sounds really boring, I know, but it really, really does work. Um, and then these kind of help just to kind of keep the eye area moisturised, um, slightly deep half a bit. I really like these. I know you think they're too, too expensive, um, but they are fairly pricey, And you, but you do get like a ton of them in there. I'll just show you that it comes with a little scooper and then you have the little eye patches in their gel under here. Really cooling, really lovely if you're feeling a bit puffy or you've gone through a breakup and everything's just gone a bit tits up. Um, really relaxing for summertime as well, just to kind of have some nice cooling, depuffing, relaxing, you know, having a moment, having a, have a, have a you moment. So excited to show you these. I have not spoken about these on my channel yet, and I don't know why. I've done a lot of Instagram posts on them, and I know that it feels like I'm being sponsored or something. I'm really not. I'm just obsessed. Um, so I do have the PR contact um, for these, and this is how I, I think I've got them in a... I got them in an unboxing first and then um, Naomi, hello if you're watching, hope you're doing well. Um, she was kind enough to contact me separately as well and ask if I wanted some more of these. Now these are one of only I think two or three brands of sheet masks that I actually use but these are my absolute favourite. I love the packaging. They've also got um, really kind of nice little instructions on the back. They do all sorts of different ones. So you've got the brightening instant facial. Um, I've got a hydration one here, they've got a charcoal detox, they're also now doing ones for your hands and your feet as well which are quite cool and I just think these are really really amazing, obviously travel friendly because they come separately packaged, they're really 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 nice and they've made a massive difference to my skin as well so it, particularly when I'm sort of flying a lot, so you guys know I go to Germany quite often for work, I'm there at least sort of like once a month, maybe twice a month sometimes for sort of three, four, five days at a time um, and so flying and doing long hours and being in the studio and wearing lots of makeup and stuff I, I tend to make sure that I'm really looking after my skin and one of the things that I will not go without are these masks and I normally will take a detox one, a brightening one and I will always take a hydration one, maybe two because my skin gets quite dry on the plane as another kind of treatment oil, if I'm not using the rose hip oil and I want something sort of different, I'm still using my Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Concentrate, which again, I've been using for years and I really enjoy. And in the night time, if I remember, I'm really bad at using eye creams, this is why I enjoy those um, eye patches, but I will use the Midnight Recovery Eye, and this is the eye cream version of the oil, so nice essential oils and stuff in there, um, really hydrating, not too heavy because I'm only 25, um, so it's not going to give you kind of like, you know you can get those white dots under here if you use sort of too much of a heavier cream. Um, I don't have that with that. And then I also use the um, Kiehl's Creamy Eye Treatment, this has got avocado in it. It's just a kind of, you can see I've used a load of it but I've got a giant one. This is my, I don't know, like third or fourth pot of this. Um, I've scooped a little bit out so my friends can try some as well so I put it in those little tiny sort of like pigment containers when they're empty so that you know sharing the love it is quite expensive but it will last you ages and you really don't need very much because you kind of just pat it under the eye with the ring finger and this kind of is a funny texture so it looks like it's going to be really thick but actually it kind of turns into a watery texture on the eye so it's actually really nice for under makeup during the daytime it's not going to sort of crease your shadow or move your concealer or anything around if you're putting stuff over the top so I really really like this Makeup removal wise, if I'm not using my Lizelle cleanse and polish and my skin brush and stuff like that to remove makeup, um, which I always will do, um, then first, sometimes if I'm having a day where I'm, I've used a particularly kind of large amount of makeup, if I've been filming or whatever, or I've been at work where I might have had extra layers and like lots of powder and things on, um, then I will take my makeup off with the simple Kind to Skin 
wipes these are the sensitive ones i think um i always get the green ones you will see these in all my empties these are the only ones that i have found that do not irritate my skin i've tried sort of nivea wipes i've tried baby wipes they all kind of ir irritate my skin and i don't find that i actually have particularly sensitive skin but these ones are really nice they're really moist I hate that word i apologize for anyone else that feels the same um but they don't sort of they're a really nice soft um tissue and they don't because they are saturated with product as well especially if you're taking off eye makeup and things they don't sort of dry out and make you sore around the eyes which i found is a problem with lots of other brands that i've tried so I really like these wouldn't recommend only taking your makeup off with these because you're not going to get all your makeup off properly but if you're in a bit of a hurry um or you're staying at a mate's house or you've forgotten things these are quite handy to have around i find so I hope that you've enjoyed the video. If you have, then please do give this video a thumbs up. Also, please do that if you are enjoying Halloween so far. It's really nice to be posting lots of things again. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. And um, please do hit that subscribe button if you are not a member of the family yet. Would be lovely to see you back here. And I will see you in the next video. Please do let me know if you've had experience with any of the products that I've mentioned. I will have them listed in the down bar for you below. And leave me a comment if you have any recommendations of brands that you'd like me to try out. Or things that you're really enjoying at the moment. Especially as it's kind of getting a little bit chillier where I am in the UK. So I hope you're enjoying your day. Have a lovely one wherever you are. And I will see you in the next one. Okay, lots of love. Bye!